Hi, you are now watching the Otop series on every Monday morning. And pay attention, there is no other media group like Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp or WeChat that will share this market opinion. This valuable market opinion is only shared on every Monday morning in Otop, only right here in YouTube. And this market opinion is going to help you do a wonderful stock pick after you do your homework. Stay tuned and I shall be right back. Hi all, this is the Monday morning, 9 a.m. on the 9th January year 2023. All right, this is the second Monday of a new year in year 2023. And welcome back to the Old Talk episode 126. All right, 126 weeks of one target, one purpose. And we are back here again under the DW World Equity Time sharing with you our weekly market opinions. All right, stay tuned and 10 minutes is all the time you need to spend with us. And we shall quickly run through on the revision of the last week as well as going forward this week what we will be looking at all right well uh here's a quick revision last friday all right last friday we have the uh, u.s payrolls increasing and uh, beating the expectation of 223,000 payrolls growth in december all right and um well, everything was uh, looking good and Dow Jones was up, closing with uh, positive 700 points gains. All right, closing price at 33,630. S&P was up 86 points as well. Closing price 3895 and Nasdaq was uh, up 264 points, closing price 10,569. Well, gold prices were still bullish. All right, and the closing price on Friday was $1,870 US dollars per ounce. All right, pretty good and strong, except the uh, crude oil prices did not manage to jump above the 80 US dollars per barrel. Closing price at 73.73. All right, that's $73.73. All right, ranging from 70 to 80 US dollars. So this week, what we'll be looking at is possibly a uh, continual climb up on the Dow Jones but very limited room on the top side okay as we always feel that the Dow Jones is about to reach a second top before it turns out very quickly and of course don't forget there is the FOMC meeting on the uh, 31st January and 1st of February over this month end and likely we're going to see another rate hike all right may not be a uh, three quarter percent but it could be a uh, uh, 50 basis point all right and that is good enough to bring the uh, equity market prices going down again all right so well there is another any uh, big news and this week we shall be looking at some interesting stock which is uh, not too huge in market cap but the, it has a potential on a quick run-up recovery so stay tuned with us okay and let us take a look on last week auto 125 what we were talking about last week on the first monday of january year 2023 we were talking about the euro currency well literally and apparently we are we were looking at a us dollar um softening and that's why the euro is climbing up but last week okay based on this day chart one two three four five on monday market opened at uh, 1.0700 and it came down to 1.0500 200 pips not so deep yet and bounce back on the market closing price of 1.0640 on friday all right if we look at the euro we feel that uh, it is still worth holding on all right it is still a hold unless if the market drops down below 1.0500 then that could be a cut loss level okay if it comes down again okay other than that uh we could see that the momentum is still uh, slightly growing up positive moving at this region okay and the market prices are standing above 1.0500 and above the EMA 200 averaging line well and the uh, four hours chart also just shows that Friday closing price was uh, pretty firm and strong so this week we recommend a hold on the uh, euro USD so coming to auto 126 on the 9th January year 2023 what are we going to talk about stay tuned and we are coming to that very very real quickly okay let's take a look at the 
NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange stocks, and we have one very good um, counter here that we call it Camtech. Okay, and the symbol is CAMT. CMT Camtech, a US uh, company trading in Nas trading in uh, Nasdaq. All right, Camtech, and uh, basically Camtech um, is a R and D company. All right, in semicon semiconductor industries and uh, pretty active. All right, and uh, quite low on the debt ratio, debt equity ratio, and most importantly, over last year there was a dip from almost fifty dollars in October. Okay, and down to the recent low of about twenty one dollars. So Friday closing, we saw a rising head, as you can see here. Okay, on the day chart and. Uh, Momentum was uh, moving to positive as well as the crossing of EMA 4 and 20. Closing price of Camtech was 23.29 on Friday and we are foreseeing there will be a very high possibility of running up up to about 26 or 27 dollars on the recovery which will form a double top. Well, take a look at the 4 hours chart here. Okay, and uh, it has just started to recover and uh, well, we are Two, looking at uh, a potential run-up, which could be anywhere about twenty-five dollars. That's on the four-hour chart. Okay, so on the four-hour or the day chart, things are looking pretty positive. And on the week chart, of course, it is sitting on the EMA two hundred averaging line, and that is twenty-one point five zero. So this week, Camtech is our choice, and market opinion has been sent to you for the week nine, January year twenty twenty-three. Do your own research and homework on this um, stock counter. It could bring you some money just when the year starts out in January. All right. DW World Equity Time will talk one to six for today. We hope you get some tips and uh, don't forget to share this video out. Do come back on next Monday and we shall be back. Thank you.